potter must be able to centre the clay. For 19 years of my life, my life spun off centre. I was doing my own thing. I was brought up in Nelson, Lancashire, to Irish parents. And there was one great love in my life. It was football. And I used to play nearly every day. I didn't have much thought about God until I got to the age of 12 and my friend Simon was killed on his motorbike on his birthday and uh, that really shook me and rocked me on the inside. But my life really was off centre and if you see this clay now, that's off centre, it's not spinning properly so I've got to centre it. Well my life became centred in the things of God. The Lord Jesus was to bring my life on centre, make something good of it. When I was about 13 I ended up at Blackpool FC, then I went to Bradford FC and I thought my chances of being a professional footballer had gone completely until the age of 17 and a scout from Manchester City invited me down there at Main Road Manchester. I went along and uh, I didn't get in the first team, I got to youth level and uh, I enjoyed playing but while I was there something very big was happening on the inside and the big thing was that my life seemed very empty, it seemed pointless. I didn't really know where it was going. It didn't have a lot of purpose, a bit like a piece of clay spinning out of control. Well, I eventually took some A-levels, passed those, and went off to a teacher training college to be a sports teacher. And while I was there, I'd been to a youth meeting, and that night, first God was to bring my life on centre and transform me, but secondly, he was to make me into the person or start the process of what he wanted me to be. I didn't realise that Jesus died for me. I thought I had to be good, but now it's, the Bible says, by grace are you saved. So I cried out. I was sat on my bed and I cried out about quarter past 10. God, if you are there, please forgive me and live within me. A wonder of wonders, he began to take control of my life. He began to make something good of it. He forgave all my past, all my sins were washed away and he gave me his peace and he gave me his joy, and he gave me purpose, and my life took on new meaning. And I began to understand that why did Jesus ever die on the cross? He died instead of me. He died in my place. In football terms, we'd say he was a substitute, and he died in my place. And just like me making this piece of clay into a, something nice now, he's taken my life, and I used to steal, but I don't want to steal anymore, because he's changing me on the inside. Being a Christian means that you've got purpose and meaning and it also means you've got eternal life. It means that Jesus gives you hope in the most dire of circumstances. When we allow him to do it, he shapes our lives to make something wonderful. And here you'll see a bulbous shape pop coming. And one day, when I make it to heaven by trusting him, God will have completed his work in my life and Christ will be my treasure. When a potter finishes his piece of clay and finishes his work, he puts the clay in an oven called a kiln and he glazes it. And sometimes I use a pure white glaze. That pure white glaze covers all the infirmities in the clay. And when I became a Christian, Jesus and his righteousness became mine because the blood of Jesus on the cross forgave me for all my sins. What I've got to do here is I've got to remove the water out of the pot and then I've got to just finish it off, tidy it up, ready to take it off the wheel and get it ready for use. And uh, one of the things I can do is I can decorate it at the end. Again, God taking something very ordinary, ordinary clay, just everyday clay, and then making something beautiful of it. See what we can do with this. Thanks for watching.